I'm going to show you how to download and use Tor. So obviously the first thing you want to do is go to Tor Project's website and download it. So there should be a link for your operating system. As you can see here I'm using uh, Ubuntu Linux but it's exactly the same for Mac and Windows. You just download it for your operating system and save it to a file somewhere. So. While that's working, I'll just give you a quick reminder of what Tor is. Um, Tor is an anonymization browser, essentially. Um, with an anonymization network um, that you access through, can access through a browser. So you can see here, this is my normal browser. And if I go to check.torproject.org, it shows me that I'm not using Tor and it knows exactly what my IP address is. So if I go to whatismyipaddress.com, we can see that um, you know servers on the internet that I go to, you know, whatever, know where I'm coming from. They know I'm from Melbourne, Victoria. They know who my ISP is. Um, I'm with Exitel, um, and they also know my IP address. And this can be linked back to me as an individual by um, my ISP, who have you know a, a record somewhere of my name uh, and my IP address. So that's um, why you might want to use Tor to remain anonymous online. So let's have a look and see if it has finished downloading. Uh, yep, okay, it's downloaded. So if I go to my download folder, we can see that there it is. Um, in this case, it's uh, just a zip file kind of thing. So I will just extract it. And it works the same on Mac and Linux. Um, it might be a self-extracting um, executable or install program in that case, but what it gives you is a folder. Um, and this folder contains um, the Tor browser bundle. So all you have to do is click on Start Tor Browser and it will launch, uh, connect to the Tor network and give you a separate browser. Um, so I might just minimize this one here to make it a bit more clear um, and this this folder this whole Tor browser folder you can put that on a USB stick if you like so that you can take it with you and then use it on separate computers and browse anonymously so let's just start it and we can see here that's connecting to the Tor network um, picking some relays and once that's finished We, the browser pops up. So you can see it's the Tor browser. It's based on Firefox. It um, has this little onion thing, which is the thing to look out for, and it's automatically taken me to um, the checktorproject.org site, which says, yes, you're using Tor, and your IP address is this. So if we go back to that, what is my IP address.com website? we can see that I am no longer in Melbourne, Victoria. In fact, it's put me in the middle of the ocean, so it doesn't know where I am. Um, it says that I'm a net using a network sharing device um, and it's an anonymous proxy. So that's how it essentially Tor works. It hides your location and your IP address and which ISP you're using so that um, whatever you browse um, can't be tracked back directly to you course this isn't going to be a magic bullet if you use it to go onto a website and say hello my name is John Smith and I live here um, then obviously you know it's not going to protect you from that but it will stop people from being able to automatically track down um, which city you're from and which ISP you're using and potentially through your ISP who you are it um, it also encrypt your traffic from your ISP, so your ISP doesn't know um, what you're browsing for um, and what you're looking at either, so they can't log it in the case of data retention. Um, so one final thing about using Tor, uh, you want to look for websites that use HTTPS as opposed to HTTP. So you can see this website here, there's no kind of security icon. Um, it's running on a plain HTTP connection. 
So this um, exit node that I'm using can see the contents of this page that I'm looking at. Um, it doesn't know who I am, so that's kind of okay, but it's just something to be wary of. Um, whereas if you go to a website that uses HTTPS, in general, the um, such as you know Twitter uses HTTPS, and so does Gmail. If we're looking, looking at your email, then the this exit node here that we're using this anonymous proxy can't look at your, the contents of your emails and all that sort of thing because we're using HTTPS. If you're using HTTP, they can see that this final step in the in the network can see what the content is. But because we're using HTTPS, it can't. So just keep an eye out for HTTPS versus HTTP connections. And HTTPS good, HTTP bad. And that's pretty much it. So thanks for listening and watching and have fun using Tor.